Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on Thomas Lord Cromwell and we get to hear from Cromwell today in Act 4, Scene 4. Now, the last time that we saw him, he was bringing people in to have dinner. Uh, Bedford is there and Celia and his wife and Friscobal ends up in there too because he noticed this sort of homeless looking guy over there. He's like, I want to talk to that guy. So all of these people are heading in. And then Act 4, Scene 3 is a weird little aside between a couple merchants where we find out that there really is a growing beef between Cromwell and the new Bishop of Winchester, Garnier. But now in Act 4, Scene 4, we're back at Cromwell's house and the stage direction at the very beginning of the scene says that the meat passes over the stage. So everybody is on their way into dinner and we see the food going into dinner as well. And Cromwell's like, okay, do we have everybody? Everybody, where's my dad? And who's supposed to be sitting over here? And then he turns to Friscobal and he's like, you're Friscobal, aren't you, right? You're a, a Florentine merchant. And Friscobal is like, well, I, I used to be, but I really have nothing anymore. And I don't know why I'm here. And he's, he's very like, down on himself and Cromwell's like didn't you help a couple of people on that bridge that one time a couple of Englishmen and he's like yeah I, I guess that was me and Cromwell says I am that Cromwell that you there relieved 16 ducats you gave me for to clothe me 16 to bear my charges by the way and 16 more I had for my horse hire there be those several sums justly returned yet with injustice serving at my need, and yet to repay them without interest. Therefore receive of me these four several bags. In each of them there is 400 mark. And bring me the names of all your debtors, and if they will not see you paid, I will. Oh, God forbid that I should see him fall that helped me in my greatest need of all. Here stands my father that first gave me life. Alas, what duty is too much for him? This man, in time of need, did save my life, and therefore I cannot do too much for him. By this old man I oftentimes was fed, else might I have gone supperless to bed. Such kindness have I had of these three men, that Cromwell no way can repay again. Now, into dinner, for we stay too long, and to good stomachs is no greater wrong. So this is Cromwell once again being awesome, being extremely kind. Uh, Friscobal had given Cromwell and Hodge some money while they were on that bridge and they had nothing. And Cromwell remembers him. And here, Friscobal has fallen on bad times. So he's like, here's all of the money that you gave me, plus four other bags of money. Like, how could I not help you. And Friscobal had mentioned that he'd been traveling around trying to collect some of the debts that were owed to him, but nobody wanted to pay up. And Cromwell's like, tell me who those people are and I will help make, make them pay up so that you get your money. Like you helped me in my worst time. So I need to help you in yours. And then he mentions the other people in the room. He mentions Bedford. He mentions his father. He mentions Seeley. He's like, all of these people helped me and I have no way to really repay the debts that I owe to them because they were so kind to me. So it's almost like he's doing a pay it forward thing. Um, in, in helping out Friscobal in this case. And then he's like, okay, and now everybody get inside and eat some food because we're all hungry and it's bad to not feed yourself when you're hungry. And that's the end of the scene. So just another example of Cromwell um, being honest and true and virtuous and that sort of thing. So we'll see how much longer before that comes back to bite him in the butt. I'll see you tomorrow for more. Mwah.